Hopkins, Pastor Vernon, could you address the team? 90% you know are new here. So, all right, attention please. Yes. To get everybody together. Seems like somebody's missing. Is this 22? Wesley's sisters are missing. What? Helen Marie! That's all right, they know everything anyway, so go ahead, brothers. Right, good. We want to um, officially welcome everybody here to Buff Bay, Jamaica. We're very happy that you have decided to um, join us in ministry. And uh, we want to express our thanks to all of you um, for coming. Um, I know you have been planning this for quite a while. Uh, Brother Gear especially likes to plan well in advance. And so we we got to see some of the names. And uh, now I get an opportunity to put the faces to the names that I've been uh, looking at over the, the last couple of months. But uh, I know it's a sacrifice for you guys. Um, you, you have taken a week off uh, from your work, from school. And you're here not to be on the shores of Jamaica. Although we'll get you there. But you're not here for that, you're here to be co-leavers with us as God has given us some to hear. And we, we are very thankful for that. And so I want to commend you all and let you know from the front that we appreciate your presence here. Um, and uh, we are looking forward to working with you. Um, as you have heard you have heard the name enough in your discussion, Vernon Allen. And I have been here for quite a while. Uh, 20 years now since I have been pastoring in this circuit. And um, so the joy has been mine just to see the different ones who have been coming over the years. And those who have come and have returned, and I would encourage others to come. I want to thank them, especially because if, if their report was not very good, I don't think you would be here. So we do appreciate those who have gone on before you. Um, we have with us, you met Carrie and, and her son, Tiki, already. Um, and uh, most of you will know John and Kirsten, um, and they were introduced earlier as well. They are over there. Um, the brother John, um, his wife Kirsten, next month, uh, the 15th of next month will be exactly one year yes. since they have come. And uh, we have a lot of You know them too, because um, I know um, the, the church in Massachusetts uh, is partnering with them, even as they serve here. And so they will be with us for the course of this week, and you'll have an opportunity to interact with them and hear from them, what the Lord has been using them, and uh, for them to share the ministry here with you. Uh, <clears throat> we have six churches as you have made aware of. All small churches, uh, both the church, the one up here, it's the main church, um, the others are very small um, village churches. And um, the membership, not very big, very small, but there are people there, and uh, the Lord has given us an opportunity to minister to them and to see many of them coming to know Him as their personal Lord and Savior. Last week, Sunday, we had the great joy of um, baptizing 10 persons. encouragement to us. Um, seven from the Buffalo Beach Church, two from Tranquil, uh, from Morgan Park, and one from the Skiba Church. And we had a real, real nice service. Here. Full house, good spirit. And people were very, very encouraged. I was very encouraged also. Uh, because when you name over the years, it's nice to see some food. Eh? It's nice to see something to encourage you as you go on. Um, and much of the work here, much of the blessing that we had in terms of conversion, development of the believers, and growing of the believers, we, we know that you guys shared with us. Mm -hmm. As your ministry, when you come, uh, they impact mm -hmm. our people. Uh, it gets some of them start thinking about their own lives. It encourages those who are believers already. And uh, many of them have grown in the Lord. Uh, this will be a good week for them as they are exposed to you and you to them, we have to challenge them, to encourage them. We have seen many of them really, um, as they are deepening their faith in the Lord, 
in a week like this, and we're expecting um, no less this week. Uh, you, like others who have come, have impacted our ministry in a very positive way. Um, so you are here not to be any burden to us, but you are here to help us. You are here to um, do some things that would take us perhaps two, three, or four months to do. In one week, a big group of 22 cannot see much. So, think that way. Don't think, well, oh boy, we are here. I wonder if we are overwhelming them. No, you are not. Uh, otherwise, we'd have said to you, no. Uh, but your coming has really been a, a blessing. And, and I know this, this, this year, like others, will be a blessing. Um, uh, as the gospel is shared, as the, the lives are being touched, and people begin to, to be challenged about their own walk with the Lord. Um, so we're, we're happy that you're here. We're excited to see what God is going to be doing in you and through you as we labor together. Um, so Brody, I'm glad to see you. Uh, I spoke with her at the Ocean City when we were at the conference there. Uh, and I remember her playing the, uh, the keyboard. So we're going to make sure that we have an opportunity to play while I'm here uh, as well. Um, want to thank our brother Gary George, who first came with Pastor Ed Moore um, a couple years ago. And since that time, he has taken his own um, team coming in. Uh, thank you for the hard work that you have been doing. Thank brother Wally, who works with you also in, 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 in putting this together. And we brought here as well. Commitment to us here. Um, some of you are here, uh, I've been coming for a while, some of you are for the first time. Um, we have all been here on the floor. Let's see those who have been here before. One, two, three, four, five, six, but a while it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 22, so 15 yeah. have never been here. Yeah, first time or so. That's a blessing. We have a lot of work for you. Um, I know you came here for, for that. We're going to make sure we give you as much opportunity as possible to Amen. minister so that you feel your time is worthwhile. But of course, we, all, we also believe that there should be some great time, some relaxation. And so we we'll also create those opportunities where we can get you to the beach a little bit just to relax um, and just. Enjoy yourself so that this will be a pleasant uh, experience, a, a pleasant working week for you. I think it's important because we want you to take up the work that is not just all work. Uh, work is important, but you didn't jump every your friends to ask you. Uh, at least it should be at least one time, at least that. Uh, but we'll make sure you get there which is more than once. Uh, the, the week will start more in terms of uh, the